Okay, let's use some of Norman fairy tale deck. These are like gypsy cards, you know. That gives us like extra detail. The tarot cards all gives us more like past kind of future. Cards are more like specific messages that are given to spirit guides or other uh, ascended masters and whatnot. Okay, just so you can know the difference between each. We have number six here, the clouds with the letter K. It's like someone is uh, schizophrenic. Someone's dealing with someone that is schizophrenic. All right. I know I have a lot of family members that are schizophrenic. Okay. And um, this could be due to narcotics, certain particular drugs. Um, and then we have the tree here. Yeah, it's a, it's a family member that has schizophrenic. They hear different voices, okay? And they're also seeing illusions, okay? They're seeing things, okay? So they're having a hard time to, uh, seeing what's right from wrong, or what's real and what's fantasy if it's a dream or did they dream about it did they you know experience is it deja vu you know what i'm saying um and, and and it's getting worse i feel like this is something that it's been getting worse and i feel like the medication or whatever they're taking they're not really taking it all the time only sometimes and the treatment is not really uh, it's not having the positive results that they were looking for. We also have the, the number five and number seven here. Okay. So the energy of a hierophant, and the lovers, and the chariot, and Syrian energy, Taurus energy, with also Libra energy and Gemini energy. Okay. Okay. What else? could be a feminine energy I see a female here okay so someone is able to see familiars animal spirits or someone is confusing also in another group of individuals someone is confusing um psychic abilities with uh, uh certain um mental disorders or personality conflicts or issues okay we have the stork here and we have the queen of hearts all right which is cancerian energy with the number 17 star energy so someone is gonna have twins okay see how the stork is carrying a baby and i've been dreaming of babies uh for a long time already Okay, and I'm seeing twins here, but uh, I, I'm seeing that these twins here are, um, they have different hair color. So there's going to be some differences between this uh, uh, twins and not necessarily that they're going to look different, but they are definitely going to have different characteristics, different, different, there's going to be a lot of differences in their personality also, but they're both going to be very Courageous, very brave. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be very daring. Okay. Uh, very action oriented. Okay. Candle number 15. Bear number 10. 
So I feel like uh, we have the gentleman here with the ace of hearts. Okay, we have the ace of hearts, which would be like the ace of um, of cups, right? Number 28. Mm. We have the tiger energy once again. So, so uh, someone's going to have like Asian uh, eyes or it's going to look so, uh, Asian. Like it, maybe perhaps someone has Asian background or they're ethnic. Okay. This is a person that is a hard worker and doesn't mind, you know, eh, you know, eh, cropping, planting, stuff like that, you know. And the environmentalist. We have the fish here. Number 34. The letter K. We have the letter A. The letter Q. The letter K. Again. Alright. Fish. Someone really likes like their seafood. Someone likes the marine life. The aquariums. Caves that have waterfalls. We have the fox energy again. <laughs> A lot of synchronicities in my readings. All right, number 14, number nine, fox. Someone has been saving a lot of money for a long time. And a lot of people don't know that this person has been saving money because they've been wanting to propose. They want to surprise someone with a ring. Um, it could be a promise ring. It could be an engagement ring. Okay. Or someone is getting ready to renew their vows. I'm also seeing that someone's been like really praying to the gods and to the genies. All right. And to make their wishes come true with this particular person. All right. I feel like someone is also been dreaming about this. Okay. Book. Okay, so someone is doing research. Someone is really asking themselves. Someone is like really trying to understand the views of that per that that special someone. Number twenty six here and number 10 all right again we see the <laughs> the puss in boots <laughs> the cat with the boots okay and then we have we see a castle here then we have uh, la capacita roja and shit you know the letter 7 27 all right and then we have some type of message that's gonna be um given that we have the wolf here so someone has been watching someone and they're trying to um trying to decide who to whether they should send a message or not okay i don't understand why people are so afraid of rejection of rejection when you're afraid of rejection, it's because <laughs> the people don't understand that whatever you're afraid of is what you're attracting. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you fear, that's what you attract. So psych, right? Yeah, like I'm saying, like people need to realize that whatever they fear, that's what they attract. So they not and they need to stop fearing being so fearful you need to conquer your fears all right that paranoia okay and it's not easy but you know i'm saying uh, there is different techniques that you could do in order to conquer your fears all right i i did i had to do that because i used to be such a scary cat when it came to spiders, when it came to snakes, when it came to uh, bugs and all kinds of shit, you know? The clover, okay? Um, number two, number six, and we have a rhombus here, a diamond shape. We have the clover here as well, 
Okay, so someone might have like Irish background. 